Welcome to my channel Living Linux. I saw a post on Blue Sky where someone wrote that he was testing Quake 3 with Vulkan on the Rockchip RK3588. Now you can see that it's running on LLVM pipe, so it's not running on the GPU, but on the CPU. And also the screenshot from 8stop shows that the CPU is very busy. And I looked at this desktop and my first guess was that he is running a recent image of Armbian. So if we go to Armbian, for instance, the Raja Rock 5B, then you can see that they recently uploaded an image with kernel 6.12 so you have the option between Debian 12 or Ubuntu 24.04 and I went with KDE. Now I also remembered that early September 2024 I tested an image of Armbian with kernel 6.10 and at least for me that was the first time that I tested Panthor, the GPU kernel driver, the open source kernel driver and that has OpenGL ES 3.1 support. So one of the things that I usually test is WebGL Aquarium. So back then 5000 fishes, 50 FPS. So here we have WebGL Aquarium and then we select 5000 fishes and currently we're on mm, 45 frames per second. Well I have tested this before and uh, I was able to hit 50 frames per second so I'm not really sure what is going on here but um, yeah perhaps if you test this on your own system then you yeah probably will hit 50 frames per second anyway but yeah here we have 45 so that's not an improvement but like I said when I tested at some other moment I did get 50 frames per second now one of the th other things that people probably want to know is how is the YouTube playback so we're on 1080p and when we go to the stats for nerds we have the AV1 codec full HD 60 frames per second and then when we play it looks smooth it's not reporting dropped frames so in my earlier tests you might see a dropped frame here and there but yeah without the stats for nerds then you probably wouldn't even notice oh, see there was another dropped frame but like I said if you don't have the stats for nerds open then you probably wouldn't notice um, yeah it's not using hardware video decoding uh, perhaps when you have a patched version of chromium that that it does work but if we go to for instance some sample videos that I have so here we have a, a white screen um, so it's not really full 4K, it's uh, really widescreen. Um, but even if it would just be decoding on a CPU, then probably it wouldn't even be able to keep up. Um, it's 24 frames per second, so it's not the full 60 frames per second. But still, again, the Rockchip RK3588 is probably not fast enough to do that just on the CPU. 
So if we launch this with MPV, so if we perhaps can get a bit further. So this all looks smooth. And if we take eight stop with that, then you can see that there's not that much activity on the CPU. So that means that the video does get decoded by the VPU. Well, you can say no, but it is true. Now coming back to Vulkan. So recently I tested Vulkan Quake on Risk Five, and now that we have Vulkan working here, even though it's just on the CPU, not really on the GPU, then we can also try it here. Um, let's see, new. So if we do this first, yeah, it does say um, Vulcan 1.3, but it's LLVM pipe. So that's it. Um, yeah, if you want to compile this yourself, you can just follow the instructions. So these are the packages that you need for Ubuntu. So you can just copy that, execute it, get the code. And then build it. And then it should work. So we can use Mongo Hot to see the performance. Uh, oops, it's in the build directory. So I'm not running it full screen because you can see that it's using a lot of CPU and it doesn't even reach 60 frames per second. Sometimes it drops back below 10 frames per second when it's really busy in screen. But um, it does look like it's rendering correctly. But uh, yeah, we're just uh, running fully on the CPU and not on the GPU. So yeah, performance will suffer. Um, yeah, one other thing that we can test is Ether SX2. So we have to do some tricks to get that working because we don't have the full OpenGL support that it needs. Um, yeah. So by default it's only 3.1, but we can force it or fake it. And then it says 3.2, then we still have to force it to make it believe it's running 3.3. So I'm running widescreen and two times the resolution and yeah, widescreen patches enabled. Those are the only changes that I did. Um, yeah, it might not render every effect um, because we don't have the full OpenGL support that it needs. So uh, it might be a bit quicker because of that. But anyway, uh, I'll show you a little bit of what you can expect. So let's just say, 
usually this text effect that is causing some issues on some systems and I'm not really sure if it's fully rendering so but um, on two times the resolution at least here there is no problem uh, hopefully in the future we'll get a Vulkan driver running on a GPU and then we hopefully get uh, the correctly rendered things and then we can say more about the performance but for now it uh, looks okay and one other thing that's usually really a good test for the performance is this demi attack So that looks smooth, uh, but again, uh, I'm not really sure if it's uh, really rendering everything correctly. So, but we'll have to see uh, once we don't have to fake OpenGL 3.3, and that, for instance, we can run it with Vulkan on the GPU. Now, as a last test, well, not really a test, but let's just say um, just for fun, um, RPC 3 is available on ARM. And I've already done some tests, but um, yeah, even on the Raspberry Pi 5, um, running it with Vulkan driver on the GPU, it wasn't stable. So up till now I was only able to test it with a CPU rendering with LLVM pipe so so this is not going to look pretty um, I really uh, went to the lowest resolution 320 by 180 um, this is the lowest, this is the lowest. Uh, but yeah, since we're not using the GPU, unfortunately, it's uh, not going to be nice. But again, hopefully we'll, we'll get the Vulcan driver perhaps this year. And then uh, we'll have to see. So with this low resolution, then it's really hard to read the text. And so far I haven't been able to get to the gameplay itself. So perhaps you can hear the audio that it's stuttering and you can also see that it's very low frames per second. So So but I think that this Armbian image um, looks very usable on a Rockchip RK3588 system. And uh, yeah, I look forward to the updates and hopefully the Vulcan driver for the GPU. So this is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.